Yeah, a mate of mine's just uh, come back from Bataya in Thailand, and he reckons right. He said that he said he had the best time of his life. But he's going to tell me, like, tell you a little story. Yeah, he said we went to a couple of clubs out there, and one of the clubs you can it's like um, alcoves in in the room. It's all alcoves. There's loads of chairs, tables. You can just go around here and pick as many girls you like. You know, it's sort of like you know. He said, and you know, you've got mate, ten alcoves that side, ten alcoves this side, and you just pick as many girls as you can. He says it's, it's, it's the it's the business. Yeah. He said, my mates picked about eight or ten girls, I picked two up. Went back to the hotel, had a really, really good time. He said, but yeah, what you've got to watch, yeah, when you go back to the hotels, yeah, the the the, uh, the hotelers, they ask for birth certificate of the girls that are coming in, yeah, to make sure that they're not lady boys, right, and they're the right age, because a lot of them that try to come in are like 14, 15 year old, yeah, and a lot of them also look, try to come in are lady boys. They let the lady boys in if you accept the lady boys. But, you know, my mate said, no, I'm not into that. You know what I mean? And he said, the only thing in Thailand, he said, right, is the lady boys. Because the lady boys, I don't know what it is, but they seem to be more prettier than that, the actual Thai girls. There's some lady boys out there who are stunning, mate. He said, they're stunning. He said, but... You can tell by the Adam's apple, but sometimes you can't even tell that. But you can tell by the size of their feet. Their feet are a lot bigger, yeah? You can imagine, he said, they're quite a bit taller. He said, but always go by the feet. Look at their feet, yeah? And the Adam's apple, you, can, you know, and you ask them, you know, and not, sometimes they tell you that they, they, they're not a lady boy and they've had it chopped off in all that game. So he said, you've got to be careful, yeah? Anyway... My mates picked up about 10 girls, my other mates picked up two, gone back to the hotel, they checked all the all their paperwork, it's all correct. They go upstairs because they don't want the girls to uh, tie you up or bash you up and all this that and the other nick all your money, which which they do, uh, give you drugs and all this that to knock you out and go for all your all your pockets and nick all your belongings, your watches and everything. So you've got to be careful, yeah? Anyway, they've got all their particulars all their all their stuff, they go upstairs. Uh, my mate's with the two girls, he's, he's had a right good night. Uh, in the morning, he goes down to see his mate. he got all these girls all naked everywhere, right? He reckons that he, he didn't get to do 10 girls in one night, believe it. He ain't no stud. Right? But all these girls are naked everywhere, right? So they've had a good time, and they decided to go down the beach. Uh, the beach, he said, in, in uh, Batea is a bit dirty, yeah, because there's all stuff all over the beaches, cigarettes and what not have you, there it is, or the crap, you're not allowed to smoke really, but they do. Anyway, and they went to some other club, yeah, um, went there for, I mean, he said the food out there is absolutely stunning, the food is just unbelievable. He said, but all the time, he said, all you keep to get in is these girls going walking by and asking you, uh, how long you stay here for? You know, how long you here for? He, I've got, do you know what I'm talking? It's good, isn't it? He said, how long you staying here for? He said, oh, he said, the best way with, it, with these girls, don't let them know that you're only here for a couple of weeks, yeah? Let them know you're here for two or three months because, you know, that way they won't try and uh, con you out of your money and bits and pieces. So, you know, my mate said, oh, we're here for a couple of months. So, anyway, um... My mate went to another club with another mate of his, and they've picked up this girl. Um, she's at, he's my mate reckon she was, mate, she could have been Miss World. She was absolutely at this world. And a lot of these girls in Thailand have tattoos. That makes you a bit thing, thinking they're lady boys, yeah? But a lot of them have tattoos on their chest, on their back, everything. He said, but this one, she had tattoos on a, even on her neck, right, you know? But she was stunning, mate. She was so beautiful. And we took her back to the hotel. We had a right good drink. And my mate, my mate was with her for a couple of hours. He said after that, I was with her for a couple of hours. We all fell asleep. And in the morning, you know, she hasn't mentioned money, but in the morning, when they come through the hotel, they had to give their, she had to give her ID in a wet game. So you know it's a woman, yeah? Um, and they're taking liberties with her, really as such, yeah, but she loves it. So in the morning, she's thinking she's getting paid. She hasn't mentioned money to them. So they said, look, we, we, we've got no money, you know, to pay you. We've got a little bit, but not what she wants. And they, she's going mad, you know, and uh, 
And she said, okay, you want to play games? I play games with you. I show you what games are. Yeah, she come back. So they're gone. Uh, she's gone. Uh, my mate's gone downstairs, told, told a guy, it's a big Somali, like a big Somali geezer. Not Somali, uh, what do you call him? Uh, Cong uh, Congo, whatever, massive guy. They tell him what they've done. And he said, you've got to be very careful, yeah? Because a lot of these girls, or some of them are in an agency with guys that run them, and a lot of them have got brothers and brothers as well that are dangerous, yeah? So be careful, yeah? So my mates, my, he, he give them a different room to go. They all went to a different room, and the guy, when they come down, it was actually to come down to go, to go out, he said, look, do yourself a favor, get all your belongings and leave the hotel. He said, because we've had uh, quite a few guys come back and they want to come in and they want to see you, yeah? He said, the worst thing about these guys, these young boys that are in Thailand, these uh, brothers or whatever they are to an agency, they will kill you. They will chop you up in pieces and they come in with big machetes and things like that. He said, you're lucky that I was on the door and I wouldn't let them in. He said, you're so lucky. He said, they would have chopped you up. My mate, oh, so went. He said, Ray, he said, my arse went straight away. He said, and all we had to do was get out of there. And they went to another part of Patea, uh, right out the way. Uh, he said, but um, they pooed themselves all the time. Because he said, because now they knew that these guys were looking for them, you know, and they're looking for guys uh, with loads of tattoos, because my mate's a tattooist. They got looking for guys with all tattoos on their hands and all their necks and bits and pieces. So, you know, so he just stays decide uh, it's time for them to go back. And so they're in Holland now. They're, in, they're having a good time over there. Um, they're in the red light place again. I said, don't get yourself in any problems out there. You know what I mean? Oh, what? You know what I mean? You've got to like, and, and, and it was, what, what it was, um, my mate's got money. But he has to do the Western Union, you know. And over in Patea, you've got to be careful even doing a Western Union out there because you ain't going to get it, you know what I mean? <laughs> he said, there's so much scams going on out there. He said, you ain't going to get it, right? He said, but believe it or not, mate, he said, uh, the women out in Patea, uh, these Thai women, are absolutely stunning, mate. He said, they're stunning. You know, he said... You know, you can really half tell the lady boys um, by the size of their feet uh, and the way they are. He said, because a lot of them have got bigger shoulders and, and all that sort of thing. He said, but honestly, Ray, he said, what I see of the lady boys, we went to a lady boy club, yeah? An actual lady boy club. Uh, these the lady boys all dance. He said, you would not believe it. He said, some of them uh, are six foot tall, six foot tall, some of them, you know, a little bit shorter. But he said they're absolutely stunning. He said they've got breasts, they've got a, a little waists, you know, but big shoulders, but the faces are absolutely beautiful. He said you could come right unstuck over there in Patea. You know what I mean? And, and you got you don't want to muck about with any of them, mate. I mean they're they even though they're lady boys, he said they still got that um bitchiness about them and they also got the men's strength about them, so they're actually wicked as well, yeah? And they will cut you to pieces. He said, you've got to be so careful. You get, you know, when you see, when you hear about it and see it maybe on the telly or whatever, you know, you look at Patea and you think, oh, it's beautiful out there and all that, they are, yeah? But the believe it, he said, believe it or not, it's wicked out there. I mean, the lady boys will chop you up. They will chop you up into little pieces if they feel that you're going to take liberties with them. And the women, because they, they've they got that little petite thing about them, right, they will go, okay, no problem. And they go, and they go and see their brothers or the agency, it's like a mafia thing out there, or the agency they're working for, and they'll all come back. You know, they all come back, and they will not, and they will not have a fight with you and say what a fight is. They will just chop you up with machetes and all that. And they get away with it out there. You know, that's why he said out there, the prisons out there are absolutely full, chock-a-block with guys 
you know, that chop people up, like he said, it's like, he goes on 24-7, because out there they have big families, and they don't just have one sister, they have like 10 sisters and, a, and about 20 brothers, you know, and cousins and uncles and aunts, you know, so you've got to be very, very careful out there. He said, but, he said, Ray, he said, I would love to go back out there. Um, maybe not there, Bangkok, maybe. He said, but Pattaya is a dangerous, dangerous place. Um, you know, you can come right unstuck. You can come, you know, when you go to any of the stores there, massage parlors or anything, you've got to tell them, right? You've got to tell them. He said, I didn't know this. He says, what my mate was telling me. You've got to tell them that you're staying there for two, three months, yeah? So they can't scam you for your money because they will scam you. They will take your money off you. Without any show, they will take your money from you. He said, that's what they do out there. They just take your money, mate. He said, you know, there's not a lot you can do about it. The way they do it, they're so good at it. You know what I mean? Anyway, uh, bang, bang, rail. I could imagine going, <laughs> I could imagine going out there and uh, you get being scammed. And he said to me, some of the doormen out there, the guys on the door, they're massive. He said, they're massive, massive guys, you know? He said, they definitely don't come, like, they're definitely a lot tired, tired people. They, they could come from these New Zealand or Australia, Maori people, but the pieces, they're massive. He said, so don't think you can go out there and just take liberties because you can't. Oh, bang, bang, well, nice 